don't know if I can dance like that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, here it comes. All right, that's enough of that. All right. I don't <laughs> think he's really singing that. No. I'm just going to put that. That's no, another. Not at all. That's probably another old man's voice. But yeah, <laughs> guys. Uh, 1985's Night Train to Terror. I'm sorry. The biggest mishmash of a movie ever. Yes. Um, so basically, this, is, this was our first anthology. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that we decided to watch. Um, and with the first story being my favorite, you know, because there was lots of boobs and there was Bull from Night Court. Yeah. Killing girls and this guy's taking him to her. Um, the, um, second story in the film, uh, was a guy falling in love with a porn star, which I don't get. We've all been there. We've all been there, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But some really cool animation in it with a fucking wasp and... A Jimi Hendrix look-alike. That was pretty goddamn funny. Yeah. And uh, the third one was about uh, um, the Third Reich. Um, about a teen idol looking guy, like looked like you know one of the Hardy Boys, uh, who happened to like live, yeah, uh, happened to live um, as a Nazi. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> and, and and so basically peppered through this film because these were three films that were actually not made, or they were made, but they just like were never really put together correctly. They were, yeah, they were never so they kind of edited them and then they just decided to throw them into an anthology film. And then in between the clips, we have the dance with me. They're on the they're dancing on a train. It's and, like a lover boy video. Yeah. Uh, well, I, hey now. I like Lover Boy. I never said that was a bad thing. Just lots yeah. of sweats and the things yeah. around the head and cut off shirts. Love Lover Boy. It's great. And then there's also um, God and the Devil having a very kind of off the like wall a, conversation. Yeah, they're just talking throughout the whole thing. And um, yeah, really weird. Um, it's no ABCs of death. No, yeah, but there's there some go. really good claymation and like yeah. the worst, like. Because Bull Shant Bull's in the last one, again. He's back. And but he, not reprising his role from the first story. And when when he bites the dust, it's just like a Mr. Bill character. He looks like a little Mr. <laughs> he looks oh like a Mr. No. He's like, oh no, the devil killed me, you know. So, anyways, um, that was really funny. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's a really so bad. It's good film. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Night Train to Terror is a great <laughs> fucking weird, awful film. Agreed. Um, Dave Bailey actually, as Xander Kane recommended this to me. So thank you so Thanks much. Thanks, guys. For, thanks, Mr. Xander Kane. Um, um, I hope you did. You enjoy this? Hell yeah! I love musicals. That was like my shit for. I didn't listen to um, like popular music when I was younger. I was all about like Andrew Lloyd Webber and Disney and stuff. Really? So, yeah. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> so okay. uh, any musical breakdown is good for the most part. Yeah, uh, funny film. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Night, Night Trade of Terror. It is our first anthology film, and hopefully, you know, next month or you know, in May and throughout the summer, we'll we'll figure something out for you guys. So. Uh, always keep throwing your your comments up uh, in an the Android Vision Facebook page. We appreciate all of them. Yeah, and th keep throwing up your. Except you, Neil. Neil loves us. <laughs> Neil. He invited you to uh, Disney World, by the way. I know. I want to go. I've been to Disney. I've never been to Disney World actually. So. Neil, you got the hookup. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, but he was talking about him being Space Mountain, so that was oh. turned south real quick. Never mind, Neil. Woo. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. Night Train to Terror. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the shit out of that fucking film as much as we did. Next, it's mail time with Woo! Vanessa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Nail time! Cool. <laughs> Our first question is from Jaculus. Am I saying that wrong? Right? Jaculus. Ja- was it Jaculus? Odor Sasan? Jaculus? Yeah. Hi, Jaculus! Hey! What's up, man? <laughs> you got a hold of us. Thank you. What's up? Why doesn't Android Vision ever have Vanessa dress up like the Baroness? She's rocking the glasses now, so what gives? Skin tight leather, so tight it would make Destro sweat through his metal mask. Jaculus. Thank you, sir. Well, I wear glasses because I'm blind, so it's not like a fashion statement. Yeah, um, I could kind of feel this question a little bit too. I think you would make a wonderful, awesome, beautiful Baroness. What is that? Look, let me just. Just get I'm gonna on. bring it up. I'm not cultured, so. Okay. She's not. <laughs> well, 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 we'll get you a little bit. You are very cultured, Miss Vanessa. Um, but we'll get you a little bit more. Cultured is an activia. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Um, so. <laughs> sorry. Is that you? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. The- <laughs> oh, from G.I. Joe. Okay, that makes sense. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Look at her. I would totally dress like that. Okay, yeah, I could totally do that, actually. I just need the outfit. I have everything else. I think you could do it. I will totally do that, actually. That would be pretty you know, damn Cobra cool. Cobra Commander comes around here every once in a while. <laughs> he does. Cobra Commander does come around here. Does every he? Once a- yeah, we've seen him. He's a, he tries to use our land. That's my man. He's, get, he's on the run sometimes. Can I get a cup of sugar before I leave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Baroness, man. We'll get it done, hopefully. Yes. So, fuck, look at those. Yeah, that's pretty, that does not look comfortable, but I would wear it anyway. Yeah, it looks like it hurts. <laughs> All right, cool. Next question. Next question. Okay, would you say that horror and the occult go together, and how would you fuse these two together? Billy Wilson. Hey, Billy. My buddy from call, uh, Denver. How's it going, Hi, buddy? Hi, Billy. My brother's um, name is Billy. Okay, would you say that horror and the occult go, go together. together? Yes. Yeah. And how would you fuse these two together? Well, I think it's Same. already I think it's already been done for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's done. I mean, it's kind of a weird question. Not a weird question. Um, the horror and the I mean, horror goes with anything. I mean, you. I mean, look at the Happy Tree Friends. I mean, horror goes with you know fucking children's movies. Horror can be, I think, can be included in anything. Yeah. Uh, that's the awesome thing about horror. And a lot of people are scared of the occult, even though they don't really need to be. So I think the two just kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, the occult is very kind of what's going on now. I mean, it's kind of like the satanic panic from the eighties. That's you know? for damn sure. You know that was crazy, and now we're we have kind of the other side of the spectrum where it's like people are scared of free speech you know mm-hmm. so it's like so now you have that they're horrified of it you know horrified of free you know getting having their senses shocked um and it scares them um which i is, encourage having your senses shocked absolutely um but as far as the occult is concerned i mean um it goes way back to you know the exorcist it goes way back to that movie Haxon. you know what i mean mm-hmm. um or yeah the, it just goes hand in hand man for sure it's like back to like black and white silent movies yeah like Haxon. yeah yeah that's um, like one of the big fears is because it's the unknown for a lot of people so they just take it and run with it and associate it with things that are not necessarily actually associated with it so dance with me dance, dance with, with me. me all right that's sorry. an evil fucking song <laughs> right there sorry. so um yeah awesome thank you billy wilson all right next question are there movies that are not horror movies that are considered horror mojo Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of which, we're in the month of the Christ Rising. Uh, fucking uh, Passion of the Christ. Yeah, that is the term torture porn. Basically, just applies right to that movie. And I'm fine with that. I like, you know, bloody, gory ass movies. I just think that a lot of people like, oh my god. When it came out, I was living in Los Angeles, going to school out there. And I was living with three Bible thumping roommates, and I went to go see it with them. They were like crying hysterically during the movie. Everybody, all the women in there, and I'm sure some men, but they're like, oh, Jesus. Meanwhile, I was, you know, preoccupied with the fact that the woman who played Satan was really hot. So, you know. I was preoccupied with the fact that uh, Mary Magdalene was. Ooh, one Monica of, Bellucci. Was uh, one of. The, um, Dracula's yes, you know, she was uh, women, and, and we have seen her boobs. 
Oh yeah, she was in the Matrix. She's got lots of things. Coincidentally, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. So yeah, she also had a wonderful rape scene in the Irreversible. Oh, that movie's fucked up. Yeah, um, it's fucking it like a ten to fifteen minute rape scene with no fucking editing. Oh my god. Yeah, that movie is a uh, one of those ones you maybe want to watch once, and then you're like, all right, done. That's done with. I watched it with my wife. Oh. And she's just like, uh, oh, this movie's giving me a headache. <laughs> there is a sound. There's a sound that the director put in there that's just like a low hum the whole entire movie. That's supposed to drive you crazy. So. Yeah. It and it does her. its job. It fucked her up. Gotta find a different movie to watch on your anniversary next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right. One more question. Your and, phone went uh, off. oh. We don't know how to do technology. Uh, last question. Short and sweet. Thank you, Silva. Silva. Best Spanish made horror movie. Gracias. Hmm. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. There is an amazing Spanish horror film that really fucked with me. Um, not, not Mexican. Not Mexican. I'm Mexican and Spanish. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to Google this one, guys, because I don't remember the name. And I know. Some co host you are. I know. God damn it. I'm. <laughs> I'm mad that our horror hosts know have an expertise in horror if they're going to be on the show. Yeah. I'm sorry that I'm just not like. Are you talking about the skin I'm in? Yeah! That movie is fucked up. Holy yes. shit. Yes. There yes. you go. As soon as you <laughs> typed in his name, I knew you were talking yeah. about Yeah. Yeah. My, one of my, my favorite uh, me- Spanish horror film, The Skin I'm In. That movie is wow. It's so good, but you're just like, the fuck at the end. Yeah. It's a, probably my favorite Spanish when horror When the reveal happens, it, whoa. We won't give you a lot, but no. the, skin I'm, the Skin I'm In. The Skin I'm In. The Skin I'm In. <laughs> skin I'm milk. swimming in skin milk. <laughs> uh, yes. The Skin I'm In is an amazing film, so check I it out. I do not know the name of the director right now, but... We don't need to. Fuck it. Just I'm just go gonna it. go with Del Toro, because Del Toro movies are my shit. It wasn't until an hour later after the show was recorded when I realized Guillermo Del Toro was actually Mexican. <laughs> Good. Although I do like the record movies as well. That's good. And one of the director from Record's movies, Veronica, is now on Netflix and I need to watch it because it's actually supposed to be scary. So. Yeah. Record's pretty good. Yeah. Not and, that. you know, the remake, the American remake was okay, but I think they did it better. But Javier Botet was the, like, emaciated dude at the end of both movies. So. Yeah. Shout out. Record. The first one gave me some pretty decent heebie-jeebies. Anxiety. Like, yeah. Ugh. Especially towards the end. When oh, they're just, it was when like they're sh- in that room. Just straight up going through, going up through the stairs, straight up fucking haunted house style, like shit coming out of you. Yeah, record's really good. If you guys haven't seen that. I know like first person movies or POVs catch a lot of shit from the horror film, horror like movie them. industry. I, if done Most right. Most of them. Yeah, there's some where you're doing, like, if, um, I just recently watched the St. Francisville experiment after not having seen it in 18 years. What'd you think? I love you, Ted Nicolau, but oi. <laughs> yeah, that's why we didn't do um, Terror Vision. Like, oh, yeah, you're talking about that. We were going to do Terror Vision, and I watched it, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, like, I don't know. Like, it's it was really bad. So, anyways, guys, send your questions to androidvision666 at AOL.com. You could always find me, Android Virus, on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr for all you dirty, perverted boobs. people. Boobs and bush, my favorite. That The cat's out of the bag. Um, it's all over the internet. Yes, I do like the bush. Yeah, he's been making lots of comments yeah. about that nature. I do. I'm, Comparing I, some of us Americans who enjoy a little bit of both to be, uh, I don't know, seedy? I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> I just say Pedophiles? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did that. But I was fucking around, yeah, all right? I saw lots of, oh my god, you're so yeah, stupid. You I was f- people don't take that seat. I was fucking around, okay? I don't think people that like bald pussy are pedophiles. <laughs> if you like bald pussy and the girl happens to be two years old, then you are a pedophile. But, That's different. Yes, but I'm just saying, oh, I, I, I was fucking around and people took it And people serious. took it way too serious. Yes, no, I don't think you're a pedophile if you like bald pussy. 
That's all I'm saying. I like sphinx cats too. So. Yeah, like yeah, she likes bald pussies as well. And I some like it a wild, some like it a bald, <laughs> and some like it a nice and trimmed. That's yeah. what I like. I don't. Well, I think we had this conversation, Mr. Cameraman, the other day, because I wasn't trying to accuse you of being a pedophile for liking bald pussy, but fault vagina. I like a little bit of a I don't know, I, landing strip. Uh, yeah. The Hitler. What? Oh, <laughs> check me a minute. <laughs> is it the hit, like the landing strip cut in half? Is yeah. the Hitler right? Yeah, but what's the point if you're gonna have a little tiny thing? Why? Oh, like a heart. I don't know. Something if it's a shape, that's fine. But if it's literally this big, why bother? Yeah, it's like the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. <laughs> and. For so the black know. girls, it's the Michael Jordan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, God. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. We're the fire starters here at Android Vision. Yes. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> was it the Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm not trying to start fires. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying I don't discriminate. Oh, all, no, I don't that. either. You know, it's I'm just seafood so, food for me. Look, I, well, we found out where the fetish came from. I don't know if you <laughs> did. We? Yeah. Well, I did. I had a conversation with my therapist and found out where the fetish oh, came from. Go. Yeah. Uh, I used to go watch my mom do jazzercise. Oh boy. Uh, when I was a little boy, and um, some of the more pretty women that were doing jazzercise. Um, would wear their leotards, but they wouldn't wear like pantyhose with them. So it was camel toe all over the place? No, there's no camel toe, but their like pussy hair was peeking like, out on the side of their pants ooh. of the beautiful women. Broccoli in stuffed in lycra. <laughs> and I was like, I would sit there as a little boy, uh, you know, with my, uh, not, they had like Christian books there and I was like looking at books of Jesus and it was like, uh, they, I remember they had this book, speaking because we're kind of in the month of Jesus or whatever again. They had this book of um, uh, Adam and Eve, but Adam looked like Ward Cleaver. Like his hair was combed all nice and shit wow. in the book. And I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Even as a little kid, I was like, Adam didn't look like Ward Cleaver. No. But, you know, he probably looked more like a caveman. <laughs> but, you no, know, I'm sitting there looking at this book and then watching these girls do jazzercise and then, then they're... Their bushes are peeking out on the side of their pants. Ew. And I was just was like, Was it the eighties? Because that's oh, of course. Time. Okay, that's time basically correct. doing moves from that from the movie. Dance yeah. with me, dance with me. I'm gonna ask my I'm gonna play that for my mom. Mom, do you remember doing jazzercise <laughs> with this song? She'd be like, What? Are you talking about, son? I'm gonna bring up to my uh, my hair fetish to my mom. Blame her. E. Well, she'd great. be like, Yeah. You know, no, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my mother. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, so where can we find you? Uh, Living Dead Nessa on Instagram, and I don't even know what my uh, URL on Facebook is, but. Whatever. You'll find her. You yeah. know where she's at. Um, we'll see you guys next month. Sink, thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget. It's gonna be May. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to. Every little thing I, I do, do never seems enough for you. you. Sorry. Insane took over. <laughs> the cameraman's got the moves. <laughs> we'll see you fuckers next month. Yeah.